Calm weather right now, but are you ready for an emergency? You know, Idaho's fire season should be enough reason to sound the alarm. Knowing what to do before, during, and after an emergency is a critical part of being prepared and may make all the difference when the seconds start to count. So the Better Business Bureau's Rob Hicken is here. This is an interesting topic. Uh, you know, normally we're used to hearing about scams and stuff. So good that we're not talking about a scam today, but there are several things that you can do to be prepared. So what when someone puts together a kit to be prepared for weather, uh, even terroristic, anything like that, as far as an emergency is concerned, what do people, what should they start with? Let's just talk about the, uh, an emergency. You know, we think of an emergency as something big, something uh -huh. horrific like a fire. Or, or an earthquake or something, a winter storm that shuts uh -huh. us in. But there are emergencies all the time that we have to confront. And a 72-hour kit is just that. It's one of those emergency kits that you can put together, and it'll help you in any time of emergency. Let's say that you have a, a your sewer lines cut off or your water's cut off. Well, that's an emergency for some people. How could you survive without water? You know, the average person or the uh, average emergency kit should have 18 gallons of water stored up per person wow. in the household. That's how much water you use a day on average, 18 gallons of water a day. So, you know, when you're talking about an emergency kit, you're talking about more than just the average old Band-Aid here or flashlight there or radio, things like that. But you want to really think what kind of emergencies can confront my home, my family, and then start from there. And then take a look at it. Do I have uh, enough food? Do I have enough water? Do I have enough electricity or power? Something to cook on. Uh, what happens when there is an emergency and we have to evacuate the house? Mm -hmm. Do we have a plan in place to gather at a gathering point? If we had a fire come through uh, like they, we did over here in uh, Roby Creek, uh, do we have a gathering point so that if I can't get home, my family knows where they can get a hold of me or contact me, you know, those kind of things. So it's more than just a 72-hour kit. It's, it's making a whole plan and being prepared so that you can be reunited with family and survive any kind of a catastrophe that comes along. And of course catering to any geographic location that you may be in some places are more prone to tornadoes which aren't really much of a problem here in Idaho but fires, snowstorms in other places so something to be aware of there. And so back to those kits so you said of course it's more than you know band-aid here flashlight there what are things that we need? You mentioned the 18 gallons of water per person where else do we go from there as far as those kits are concerned? Uh, you should always have some batteries and a radio and a flashlight on hand. Okay. Uh, you can't, if you can't hear what's going on around the community how can you be aware of what's available to you mm -hmm. once you get out of this emergency? Uh, flashlight of course Check those batteries every year. Make sure that they're rotated out. Keep fresh ones in there. Uh, you want to have also, you want to have some, uh, um, your first aid kit, th those band-aids, those things that can really help you up as far as making uh, an emergency. If you cut yourself, you want to take care of that. A wrench or pliers, things that can actually tighten up things. You know, a lot of people think about their gas meter. You need a wrench to turn that thing off or else the gas is going to leak out and stuff like that. So just be, you know, some general items that you need in order to survive is, is what we're suggesting. And one thing that I would add in there, my, my family and I have tried to put together one, and if you put it in, I, we have a duffel bag with wheels on it, can roll right out of the house into your car if you have to take off or whatever. So just a thought there, making Absolutely. it more mobile for you to carry around. So definitely good things to think about. Glad that it's not a scam warning this morning from the Better <laughs> Business Bureau. Thanks so much for joining us, yes. Rob.